Hey, this is Guy with Logic Group LLC. Uh, we have relocated. It's been a while since I got a video up because uh, we've been in the middle of uh, moving. But uh, I'm going to uh, reinstall my panels, and I've started with the uh, hardware mechanisms. And I just wanted to go over that here real quick. And here we are. We've uh, got Unistrut. This is the thinner stuff, uh, 10 gauge, and I have two inch bolts strut nuts here um, what I found was uh, I got two inch I didn't even think that they would bottom out on some of them like that one right here not quite all the way down to the bottom but anyway <coughs> starting at the top we have unistrut nut and then bolt and what I'm going to do is one of two things either devise a bracket for here or I will place a block this is seven inch seven eighths of an inch thick I can find a block to set right there and pinch it down and put some uh, put some type of uh, rubber gasket or washer on there and here um, notice how they overlap what I'm going to do to uh, uh, minimize that is put in a smaller washer these are inch and a quarter I'm going to get one inch washers to put on there and shorter bolts inch and a half instead of two inch and that should or maybe even inch and a quarter that should uh, resolve that problem and then, uh, so, what I've got underneath here is this swivel bracket. we got swivels left and right, and that's about the size of a 2x4. This bracket here came off of uh, the back of a TV stand um, for, a, uh, for a large flat panel screen TV. And uh, holds up to 135 pounds, so I figured this would be ideal for this application. And what I'll do is um, set this up to swivel, uh, about to track the sun, and then I will um, put. I'll hinge this portion here. I haven't come up with that exact fitting or or mechanism yet, but uh, I'm going to go to the uh, hardware store later and see if I can't find something. And I have all of my wires on one side and I'm gonna again like I had on had before I'm gonna I'm gonna run these two in parallel uh, series uh, those two in series and the last two in series and then I'll parallel all them in uh, to one uh, breaker a 115 amp breaker on the QO box um, so this works out to be about six feet and this is uh, this last little bit four feet I'll cut that off and use that for another application now this may be a little on the flimsy side here. Um, I'll know more when I get it all tightened up. If it is, I'm going to increase this unistrut uh, to the, I think it's inch and five eighths. I'm going to get the thicker stuff. Uh, it'll be a little bit heavier, but I know the thing won't twist and tweak. Um, but I'll, I'll know more once I get everything uh, tightened up. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that's what I've got so far. Um, also, um, I've got uh, I've got a pole here that I'm going to use for a mount um, and track. I'm going to probably put my homemade panels on that. And I have some options there with the hot tub and those four poles. Another thing that I was looking at was the back of these dishes. I'm going to take that dish and uh, use the front of it and make the, turn it into a parabolic. I'm going to use this mechanism to mount the uh, two homemade panels. And I have another one here that I can use to, uh, to mount some more panels. So we'll see how this works out. I might use this in the homemade panels. I don't know. So I've got a couple of options there, and my uh, my big panels. I'm probably going to mount right here. Well, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put the big ones yet. Anyway, 
All right, so that's uh, that's what I got so far, and uh, gonna sign out. Thanks for watching.